Hey guys, I wanted to do a little video. We just took a trip for Thanksgiving up to uh, the Washington, D.C. area. And I went mobile with D-Star, and this is how I did it. I've got my little Raspberry Pi with a DV Mega board on it. A little uh, D-Star access point that I built. A little antenna, aftermarket antenna, a little Wi-Fi uh, dongle on there. And I got this in kit form, uh, with the exception of that different antenna, from uh, Gigaparts. So, uh, what I did, I was a little concerned about the uh, the whole thing of plugging it in the cigarette lighter and you know starting the car and... Uh, worried about whether it was going to surge the pie and reboot it and end up corrupting the, the card and, and give me some fits as far as that went. So what I did is I bought this uh, $25 battery pack. It's, uh, let's see, I got it on eBay. It's not really wanting to... Uh, I can't get it to uh, focus in there. But anyway, it's an easy ACC power pack. And it's a model PB 10,000C. And it's got the two connectors on it for USB. And then it's got the little mini USB. That's how you charge it. Um, let's see, it's got a little button on there, when you push the little button, it's kind of hard to do one-handed, <laughs> very difficult, but you get the little power indications there, it tells you each one of those LEDs is 25%, so that gives you an idea, so that's how I powered the Pi, make a long story short, and uh, short story long, <laughs> There's the uh, AC connection, you know, power connection that I use in the house, and then I just hooked the regular mini USB up there, powered it. Uh, it was about a four and a half, five hour trip, and I was talking a good bit on the way and listening quite a bit, and the battery was great. I didn't even, I think it may have went down to three lights, so 75%. You know, maybe 50 to 75%. Maybe it was two lights. I don't recall. But anyway, that's uh, that's what I used. And with my little HT here, ID51. And I've just put it on the lowest power setting. And you can't really see it. But anyway, I've got it set up so that uh, it's the 445.500 frequency I use. <clears throat> on the uh, the DV Mega board. It worked great. So I just wanted to do this little video, and if anybody wants to go mobile with D-Star, I'll also post a, uh, a screenshot. Maybe I can just do it on here. If I can bring it up on my uh, tablet. Okay, I wanted to give you a little shot. That's how much data I used. 40 megabytes. That's for the trip up to Virginia and then the trip back for Thanksgiving. That's, you know, four and a half to five hours each direction. 40 megabytes. And I did a lot of talking. I did more talking than I probably normally would on the radio and a lot of listening. So that's that just gives you some idea of the uh the amount of data that it uses not very much i was really pleased uh i mean i can i don't have any problem using uh the if i set up a raspberry pi in the car i wouldn't have a problem using it on a everyday basis actually no, it just went so uh yeah. If anybody has any questions about how much data that D-Star uses over your your wireless uh, provider plan, 
it's very very negligible. I mean, a, a you know a forty megabyte file. I mean, you can download a forty megabyte file pretty quickly. Uh, you know, it's not much data at all, guys. I, I just wanted to stress that fact. And um, so that's basically what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it probably made the video a little longer than I need to, but uh, I just want to get that message out. You know, don't don't hesitate to set one of these Raspberry Pis up and put it in your car, and uh, and use it for D-Star. It's a great way, great way to keep on D-Star and stay active. You know, if you don't have any other way to do it, if you don't have a mobile rig, if you've got an HT, and uh, it works really good. And I and I did uh, let me put this note in here too. I use the uh, D Star Commander uh, K W six K D. I think is his call sign. Bob D Star Commander software. Really great image for your uh, SD card. Really works well. It's got a reboot shutdown command that you can do right from the UR field from your HT. That makes it really nice. You know, when you're wanting to shut things down, you don't have to just pull the plug. You can you can actually do a systematic shutdown and uh, really makes it nice. So uh, anyway, hope to hear you guys on D-Star soon. 7-3, this is N4-YOG.